Attack, he's driving in. Yeah. He scores for the left of Rose. So tell me. Oh, magnificent from Kelmsman. Cuckoo's in. Finishing. Saved. Kelby. Nice play. Batchy. Shot. Oh, what a goal. Brilliant goal from the left of Rose. Hello and welcome to today's junior match of the day. We've got a cracker of a game for you today. We're at Preston Field for the left Rose versus Pennington Athletic as the left Rose try to keep up their unbeaten run. Today's game is Calm. So, and Calm, how do you think the game's going to go today? Well, I think the game's going to go well as, I've, as we have had an unbeaten start to the season. 1 2, drawn 2, and I can see us keeping this run up with a 3 1 victory today. So, let's get some lineup news before today's game. I'm your commentator Ben McAdam for today's match. Pennacook Athletic will break 3 now on Wednesday night. They'll be looking for a way to bounce back with a win against the Lifter Rose today. Lifter Rose looking to keep their unbeaten run up. Two wins and two draws. Pennacook have got it out wide and it's out for Lifter Rose throw. <laughs> Tommy's got it. Uh, it's just past the post, not far away from Tommy going it's it for back here. Yeah. <laughs> 
One foot out wide to coin, coin touches it down. And he shoots, and it's a good save. Let's go back across, and here, dummies it, but nobody's there to pick it up. And he's offside. Shut up. Uh, it went to you know, crosses it in. Okay. Over the bar. Right. Next up we are. We've still got it and the shot is saved. Rebound's going up to grey. Substitution for Alan Ferroz. Going Kevin Carroll being up coming in. Very much planning. We are into coin. Brought down. And ref gets nothing. <laughs> Half time, one left garage one, Penic Athletic now. Penic Athletic kick us off for the second half, on semi for the second half is Calm Sutton. And Penny Cooker picked us off. Good pass in the boat by Penny Cook. Put it into the middle when he touches it down, it's just past. Uh, midfielder and Terrell goes to press and it's out for a penny kick throw in. Over this 
free kick. Played into the middle. And the headers just passed post. Yeah, that's time for a bye kick. And if some of you have not noticed already, we have switched cameras, so but sorry about if the quality has dropped as it was being shot in 1080 pixels, but now we're shooting in 720 pixels. Sorry for the inconvenience. And we'll be back to normal next week. To Coy, back to Kelby. The shutter. The coins got the one two off. He drives it to the box. Shot with his left foot. Oh, it's a good save. Good save by the keeper there. And shots on. Into the box. Oh, the Maybe the advantage should have been played there, but the referee decided against it. I think he'll be going for the shot here. And he steps up. Oh, he spills it. Oh. Dodge your hands by the keeper there. Coin, Kelby. Oh. Leo for Coin. Oh! oh it's a Brilliant from the left rows. Absolutely amazing finish. Lovely interchange passing. They have a sweeper keeper. Alexander, hey, how do you think the game's went today? Yeah, I think it's been alright. Uh, we got the goals. Go on, four sacks! Back out to Penny Cook. Kelby's running, chasing. Winter throwing for enough grows. Quick throw. Oh. Oh. Leaper. Back to Mackenzie, who arrived back from Germany over the summer. Shut up. Chipped into by Amber Bachelor and he's through. 1v1 and he's chipped the goalie, but it's over the bar. Just over the bar, though. Lovely ball through. Oh, Alexander, you can't 
build up play, nice passing from the on to Jones. To, uh, a little bit too much on the ball. And here to announce uh, man of today's BSN Sports Man of Matches, Alexander Hay. Yeah, I think it has to go to speed the captain. He's been terrorising down that um, right mid position, putting in good balls, and I think overall it's been a good effort from him. He's also joint goal scorer for this season and almost got himself a third uh, early on in the match today. That was a good save by the Penalty goalkeeper. Well, and that's a goal for Pennycook. Got a consolation goal now. And Lefko's first clean sheet in a row has just been ruined. I don't think there's enough time for Pennycook to get back into this. Send up the goalie. The goalie's staring where he is. Goes into the middle. And it's in! 2 2. Two away goals from anything. This is not good for all of the world. The manager is not happy with all his goals. 2-0 lead. The Liverpool Wolves really need to push and try and get a winner here. We were sitting, I can't see it happening. We were sitting back a little bit, inviting pressure, and it's, it's come back. Stops, it's a head wins it back into Shinner. Now he's brought down for a free kick, and that might be a last chance for Unlift the Rose. Everything has going to go up? in the box. No, it no, won't go into the box because it's still 2 2. We're three minutes over, and Gary Tom doing what everybody was thinking, shoving the boy out of the way so they can take the free kick. Shinner plays it into the middle, it's a deep ball, and towards Kelby. Yeah, it's won by Penelope Kedda and that might be the game done. Ref looks at his watch and he's in. And that's brilliant. That is brilliant defending. Hamill. Look forward. It's all the way to the keeper. That might just be it. It is. And it's finished. And the two. Penny to Pennycook and Flyadick 2. You must be scratching your head wondering quite how you've not won the game. It's a very, very hard one to take, to be honest with you, because that's the best we've played. We've been... We've had probably 80% of the possession. We've created chance after chance. We went 2-0 up and cruising. It couldn't look like 
Ik ben alleen maar koning. Ik kan zien dat al. Ik ben heel goed. Ik ben heel comfortable. En de bal gaat op de striker. Hij doet hold up properly. En hij breekt ons. En ik heb de goal weer af. En dan de panic te hebben. De panic. Voor vijf minuten de goal. Je moet managen de game properly. Je ziet het. We hebben goals gemaakt in hier. Absoluut goals gemaakt. Hebben we dat niet? Dat is dat. Dominate the whole game. We are back to looking our best. Our goals have been good goals. Batches should probably go through and score again. We've done keep on doing a couple of good saves. Just need to get a chance. It's, it's football for you. It's football. But it's you look at the, the two home games with, with draw points. You're dominating both games and not and not winning the game is hard. Did you look so the whole game? The defense, yeah, totally, totally fine, totally fine. So today. Yeah, and, and uh, let's, let's be honest, it's, uh, it's one of these things that's across in the box that could go anywhere. Um, okay, then join that fine. Possibly, uh, you've got to match up by going back, but they're, they're a big, powerful team. But uh, we should have been out of sight, we should have been winning 4 5 0. Um, a couple of missed chances. And gives, you know, it's only 2 0, it gives teams a wee bit of hope. But it's coming back, the, the confidence is back. Yeah, they've just taken a wee massive blow the other now, but the confidence is coming back to them. You feel you relaxed a bit too much, the players, maybe, when you went No, to not, not at all, not at all. I thought I thought that they were still doing the right things. I just sort of felt that, obviously, we 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 just played a few games lately and just think I'm just looking after him. That's why I turned him off. He's 22 off, turned him off. Tommy's then came off for a wee uh, sore calf, so you have to rejig the team. You don't have to rejig and put. Gary Tommy right back in spade in the middle of the pitch. Um, never going to recognise midfield on the bench. Uh, really been out as well. So yeah, we'll need to probably go and strengthen now because our midfield's a bit weak um, on the recovery on department. So, um, but the one they lacked at all, I thought they were, they were very, very good and very comfortable. Very comfortable whole game. Again, the teams came here and played 4 5 1 against us. And as we began that first goal, we got the first goal, we got the second goal, and they never changed until six minutes to go, mm. seven minutes to go. We put an Arboy on, and maybe that just snuck us a bit. Because we're totally in control, eh? yeah. dominant possession. Yeah, don't dominate the whole game. Yeah. Don't possess. Some of our play was great. Some of our play was great. And Coco's no, but Coco's no far away, but Coco make a big difference to the team because his, his movement's tremendous and he's, and he's great linking up with Tommy. And, Kelvin done great at the goal today. It's just it's these wee things that you look at the goals you lose, and it can always be prevented. And the, the, it could have been prevented probably from um, high up the pitch. Kevin should have held the ball properly and linked up and up and we gave the ball and we scored for And that's super. Feel your lack a wee bit with maybe. No, because we've, we've, we've got nah, because we've got the first half, the first goal. Um, speed's crossing it. Chris Gray's put it in the back post. So you let your full, full backs here with the way we were playing, full backs here with. Spades crossed it, Chris Gray's caught it back, Batchy scored the goal. And teams struggle to play with it because of the fact that the movement's that good in the middle of the pitch. And we've got Joe on the other that's so comfortable on the ball. Um, you don't need to play with it because we've got, we've got energy and loads of legs. Loads of legs. What's up with Rudy? He obviously came he up. Got a wee, a wee tweak on his, felt a wee tweak on his hamstring. That was it. And a bit of precaution. Probably he didn't want to have it. Pulls at his seven, six, seven weeks. It might only be ten days with that. So, um, Tommy's calf will be fine by Thursday. So just precaution as well. But we're, 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 we're fine. We're going in the right direction. Results around the ground are Bowen S2. Carnoustie 1, Bonnie Rig 4, Kelty Hearts 4, Fault House 4, Brothy 4, Hello Beef 1, Broxburn 2, The Lifego 2, Pennycook 2, Socky 1, Musclebrough 5, St Andrews 3, Newton Grange 0, Tayport 2, and Camelin 1. for this week's junior match of the day thanks to Callum, Jamie and Ali for helping out today. Next week's game is Onufka Rose versus Hilla Beef.
Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. That might just be it. It is. And it's finished on Liverpool Rose 2, Perry Cougar Athletic 2.